quite quick. Yesterday I saw this video on YouTube where people were trying to run at the pace Eliud Kipchoge ran at for his marathon world record back in 2018. As an okay runner, I thought this would be interesting because one of the cool things about being okay at something is it allows you a better understanding of just how good the really good people are. For example, when I first started running very slowly, I'd go to my local park run, a 5K, and I'd finish towards the back and have no understanding how the people finishing at the front were doing what they were doing. Their performance was just so far removed from mine, they might as well have been doing a different activity. And in fact, in a way they were because they were running and I was sort of waddling and staggering along. Anyway, nowadays, I don't finish too far behind them. And so while I can't quite catch them, I can see what they're doing. And it turns out it's just what I'm doing, only a bit better. But when I watched the video on YouTube and then looked at Kipchoge's numbers, the pace he's going at and the time he's doing it for, I'm back to not understanding at all. So this morning, I subjected myself to the Kipchoge experience in order to see whether I can get my head around what he's doing by trying to do a bit of what he does. So a bit of background first on me and Mr. Kipchoge. I am a recreational runner. I have progressed over the years from very overweight and very slow to not too bad at any distance. I've had a go at everything from one mile to ultra marathons. My favorite distance, probably still a 5K, a park run. So it used to take me about 40 minutes and now about half that. In fact, I ran one yesterday. There I set off and tried to stick with the guy that actually went on to come first, which meant I did the first kilometer in about three minutes, 40 seconds. And then I had to let him go because I can't maintain that pace. And slowing up meant that over the course of the run, a few people came past me. So I ended up finishing sixth, slightly above 20 minutes, just outside a four minute kilometer pace. So that's about right for me. My personal best is 19 minutes, 13 seconds which is a three minute 51 per kilometer pace, but that is when everything is perfect. So I came home yesterday pretty happy with how it went. And what was nice was I had a perfect understanding of what the chap at the front that I couldn't keep up with was doing because for a kilometer at least, I did it with him. Now, Eliud Kipchoge is a professional runner. He was probably running to school as a child faster than I do a park run now. That treadmill challenge was based on his world record marathon run in Berlin in 2018, where he ran two hours, one minute, 39 seconds. But of course, since then, he has run the famous sub two hour marathon distance in Vienna in 2019, one hour, 59 minutes, 40 seconds. And that's the one with the numbers that are really crazy. It's a two minute, 50 second per kilometer pace for 42 kilometers, 21 kilometers per hour, stupidly quick. Remember my first kilometer in yesterday's park run was a three minute 40 and I couldn't keep that going. He's doing two minute fifties. In miles, it's a four minute 34 second pace, just over 13 miles an hour. My fastest ever mile is a five minute 13 and I collapsed. I can't comprehend what he's doing, not properly. So much like my park run, keeping up with the leader for a bit, I thought actually doing a bit of what he's doing will give me a better understanding of what he's doing. So off to the gym I went. And here's what I did on the treadmill today. I worked my way up to Kipchoge pace by passing through some of the key paces that I'm familiar with. Some of these may be ones that you're familiar with as well, which will give you perhaps a better understanding also of what he's up to. So first up, this is seven and a half kilometers per hour or eight minute kilometer pace. This is roughly where I started my running journey at. It's pretty much a fast walk. In fact, as I was doing it today, I could hardly believe that it used to tire me out, but it did big time. I would go out and do 15 minutes like that, not even two kilometers, and I'd be gasping for it at the end of it. In a way, it's, it's kind of a pace that I've sort of retired. It's too slow for exercise now, and actually too fast for just casual walking around. I don't really know where I'd use it. It's kind of airport speed. When they say the gate's closing, but you're really busy buying giant Toblerone bars, it's kind of get a move on walk speed. Next up, 10 kilometers per hour. This is a big one because this is six minute kilometers or a 30 minute 5K. This was the first significant milestone for me. Doing a park run under 30 minutes was something I was very proud of doing. And if you're running around that sort of pace now, good stuff. I know how hard it was to get from going slower than that to going at that magic 30 minute mark. And I still run at that speed sometimes now. In fact, if I'm doing a really long run, a 50K or a really hilly mountain race, I often use that six minute kilometer pace 
as a sort of target to try and keep going at because I know I can do it for a while. Over the years, it's probably the pace I've spent more time running at than any other. I'm just super happy kind of plodding along here all day long. Although if you see my 100 kilometer run from last year, you'll know not literally all day long. After about 15 hours, I'm not that happy at all. This is stupid. Why would anyone want to do this? This is nuts. There's no one here. Just in a field. Okay, 11.5 kilometers per hour, five minute, 13 second pace. And this is another pace that I will use now. If I'm doing a marathon, running for three or four hours, particularly if it's off road, maybe it's a weekend long run out with Nixon, this is where we sit. Three hours, 40 minutes for a marathon at this pace. So Kipchoge has finished his marathon when I would still have over an hour to go. But I like this speed. It's my sort of, I can jog along like this for a good few hours speed. Right, getting serious, 13 kilometers per hour. This is now a four minute, 37 second kilometer pace or a one hour, 37 minute half marathon. In fact, it's what I used for running Reading Half Marathon last year. I actually sped up towards the end of that and ended up running around a one hour, 36, I think. For me, this is now running. If I'm out with Nixon, if we're training, we're out doing a 10K maybe, this is our pace for that, pushing along, but if we're keeping it under the hour, we're still comfy enough doing so. And again, I should add, if you are currently running a lot slower than this and thinking, wow, hour and a half for a half marathon? I hear you. I was in my mid thirties when I started running and what I can do now, which I never really trained properly to be able to do, I've just sort of gone out running regularly, it's something that I could never have dreamt of being able to do. But I can assure you, for most people, a bit of focus, a bit of effort, you just do move in the right direction. Just keep at it. Of course, if you are running much faster than this, shut up, no one likes a big head. Now, this is an interesting pace because it shows the difference just 0.5 kilometers per hour makes. Half a kilometer per hour sounds like nothing, but think about it. It means if we go out running together, after one hour, if you're running that much faster than me, I can't see you anymore. You are hundreds and hundreds of meters away, gone. So starting at 14.5 kilometers per hour, that's a 41 minute, 22 second 10K. It's about my 10K personal best. And then we up it a tiny bit. This is now 15 kilometers per hour, a four minute kilometer pace. So we're at 20 minute 5K park run speed. As I said earlier, it's about my limit for a park run unless I'm feeling really good. It's a speed I use in the gym a lot on the treadmill. I often do circuits, so maybe two minutes on a treadmill at this speed, then onto the rower for a couple of minutes, then maybe lunges or something, and then back onto the treadmill, just going round and round. It is a good, hard workout pace for me. It doesn't necessarily look that fast, but most people aren't running this quick for long. In fact, my kid had a go running at this speed. He's not a runner at all. He gave it 60 seconds and gave up. And now it's time to start really running. This starts at 16 kilometers per hour. That's a three minute, 45 second kilometer. So it's what I managed for the first kilometer of yesterday's park run pretty much. So I can do it, I just can't keep doing it. And then we up it to 18.5 kilometers per hour. This is a five minute, 13 second mile pace. That's my mile personal best. I've got a target to try and get under five minutes this year, but that is hard. This is not sprinting, but it is running. And it's running faster than most people can run for too long. In fact, if somebody was to snatch my wife's handbag in the street, this is my chase down a scumbag speed. Statistically, within a mile, I'm catching most people at this sort of pace, hopefully way before the mile, so I've got a little bit of energy left to commence the reclaiming process. It's also a speed that because most people can't do it, a lot of people start to lose a bit of a sense of how quick it is. Everyone's heard of the four minute mile. If you do that, you're an elite runner, obviously. In 1954, you'd be the most elite runner. So sometimes people I chat to about my five minute, 13 second mile think, well, you're over a minute behind that sort of benchmark. That can't be that quick at all. Trust me, while there are obviously lots and lots of people that can run faster than that, it is above average quick. And now we hit a problem. Kipchoge ran at 21 kilometers per hour. The gym's treadmill maxes out at 20 kilometers per hour or a three minute kilometer pace. That means even if I could keep going at that maximum speed, I'll still only get a two hour, six minute marathon. So his world record is as safe as my wife's handbag. So here's the plan instead, get it up to maximum speed and aim for a couple of minutes. That was my target. 20 kilometers per hour, two minutes is the target. 
and we're off. 20 kilometers per hour, just under 13 miles an hour, a kilometer every three minutes, a mile every four minutes, 50 seconds. If I could keep going for 15 minutes, it's a park run in 15 minutes. It's a one hour, three minute half marathon, which incidentally is still six minutes off that world record. And it's rapid, my heart rate up around 185, simply not a sustainable pace for me for any length of time. At just one minute, my legs were starting to get really, really heavy. In fact, talking to heavy, Kipchoge is 55 kilos and five foot six compared to my six foot six and 100 kilos. So he's obviously got a whole lot less mass to move, but even so, that he's able to do this for two hours solid is insane. I mean, two hours is a, it's a long movie. As two minutes is coming up, I'm glad it's almost over because falling over is becoming a distinct possibility. Compare that to Kipchoge with 200 meters to go in his run, after running 99.9% .9 of a marathon, he's waving at the bloody crowd. I'm contemplating how painful it's gonna be to hit the deck on this thing. and I am done. Now maybe with a gun to my head, I could have done another 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, maybe with some training, three minutes. Could I do three minutes? Might be a fun target for the summer, but two hours at that speed is just beyond what I can grasp. Even doing it for 15 minutes is mind boggling for a 5K. If you've done a park run in the average time for a park run, which is around 28 minutes, I can assure you as someone a bit closer to that crazy pace and average, I still probably, like you, have zero understanding how a human being can move that quick that long. Okay, talking to humans, let's wrap this up with a real mind boggler. 15 minute park run, crazy right? Get this, world record 5K, jogging with a dog, Ben Robinson and Blake, the dog, 12 minutes 24, bonkers. Me and Nixon running a park run together, personal best is 20 minutes, six seconds. So we still have a little way to go on that. Okay. Hope you found it interesting. Like and subscribe, please, because that's great for the channel. It makes me feel very happy. Got any questions or feedback, as always, stick them down below. And I will see you on the next one, which if I can get the gym to agree to relaxing their no animals policy and investing in a faster treadmill, could well see me and Nixon getting ourselves in all sorts of trouble.